it's me, Bella. So, I've been gone for a while. It's been four months, but it feels like a while. Um, so, it's not summer anymore, though it's a lot harder to post um, because of all the homework. Like last year, we were getting iPads in our class and everyone was, so they called off homework, so no one got any homework um, because of the comp, like, of apparently parents, I don't know, something with the iPads getting them last year, but this year they're piling on the homework, so it's a lot harder to film. And my camera broke, and so now I'm filming on my phone, and it's just, it's just really complicated, okay? So, I finally was able to post a video, not a squishy package video. I actually ordered one, but it's taking forever to come. So, I made one. Um, and since it's called Everything Bella, I'm probably going to be changing up some of the videos lately. I don't know why, just because I want to. And I got a new candle. The other one, I actually burned out the wick. Like, I used it so much that it burned out because I love candles. And I have four dogs, so it's really smelling in this house. So, uh... I'm going to show you the final product of the squishy and kind of squish it for you and show it before we get on to the next video. You can go ahead and skip now if you want, but yeah. All right. Okay, so here it is. Um, so I decided to do that. I wouldn't do that, though. Be, um, the only reason I did that was because I accidentally, like, cut a giant chunk out of it when I didn't want to, and I didn't want to just start over. Um, so I made it, like, a bite mark. And normally you do bite marks if there's, like, something on the inside, like mochi or something but there isn't anything on the inside so it doesn't look that natural so if you were to do this i wouldn't recommend putting that bite mark it's not that cool and then i kind of messed up on the face as you can see i made the eyes too big but overall it looks pretty well um i did not have any gloves um so i couldn't let the puffy paint actually soak into it so it's not as slow rising as it could be so my trick for you is to not glue that on before you paint it so keep them separate paint them separately and then you gl use gloves to just smother it all over it. this way it soaks up all of it and it's more slow rising um it's not that slow rising to tell you the truth but yeah i used elmer's glue to glue it on you can use other glues but they won't like uh if you used hot glue it wouldn't be as good because you would feel the hot glue um so yeah so let's just give it a squish so here's the white part Pretty slow rising, but not the best. The back is kind of wet, I just realized. But here's the yolk. So yeah, the yolk is definitely more slow rising. I'm not quite sure why, because I didn't let it soak in either, but it's really cute, squishy, and I'm excited to add it to my collection. And in the future, I will be doing DIY squishy collections, so you can go check that out. And, yeah, and in the comment section below, make sure to leave some ideas for some videos in the future. So, let's, um, but, um, and it can be anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be squishy related. But, let's get into the video. I'm going to start by tracing the shape I want on a foam. This foam is the, between the mattress and the sheets. Don't know what it's called. Um, it's an old thing, so it's kind of yellow. But, I'm just going to trace the yolk and then the white part around the egg in this case for my gudetama now i'm gonna roughly cut out my shape i didn't have the best pair of scissors so i had to roughly cut it out and then round the sides and then the edges the yolk was definitely probably the hardest part and because it was so small um the white part was quite easy um the trick for me is to just basically cut off the marker first and then go from there. I really wanted a round edge, so I kept working um, after the video, and then that's where I took the bite mark. I would not recommend doing that. I did it, I thought it'd be cool. And I actually ended up rounding it after the video because it wasn't as round as I wanted it. Especially since it, like um, the puffy paint highlights it. But now I'm just going to take some Elmer's glue glue or any kind of glue and just glue my yolk or uh, my yolk to the white part. I would actually recommend painting them both first and then gluing them on, which I told you in the beginning of the video. Um, but that will just come out better, but I did this not knowing. Now I'm gonna let that uh, dry for at least 24 hours. This way we know it's dry. Now I'm gonna paint the yolk yellow, paint the white part white. <laughs> 
then paint on the face as well. Um, but I kind of got some yellow part in the white, so. I'm just using some fancy toothpicks, basically. The cotton is a lot stronger. And then here I'm using a thin brush to paint on the face, and I was like, oh no, the face isn't good enough. I need to redo the whole thing, so. That's pretty much what I did. I redid the whole thing, and it didn't come out too bad, but I wasn't that bad in the first place. Hey either. guys, I'm back. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, so I did the squishy review thing in the beginning, so I'm not gonna do it now. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to give this video a like for more squishy tutorials. And make sure to subscribe to my channel for more frequent videos. And then also in the comment section below, make sure to put some ideas for my channel. It doesn't have to be squishy related. It can be anything. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.